Good morning, Grade Four. Welcome back to Grade Four Mathematics class. Hope you all are doing great today. Today, let's learn about factor trees. You know what is a factor tree? We have already learned about factors and factorization. So, a factor tree is a diagram. It's a tree-like diagram that shows all the factors of the given number. So, what is a factor tree? A factor tree is a tree-like diagram that shows all the factors of a given number and we know 1 is the factor for all the numbers. So, we don't have to represent 1 while we are drawing the factor tree. That is since 1 is a factor of every number, it is not represented in a factor tree. So, now let's learn how we can draw the factor tree of a given number. So, draw the factor tree of 24. So, to draw the factor tree, we need to know the factors of the given number. So, which are the factors of 24? 24 can be 6 into 4, 24 can be 12 into 2, 24 can be 8 into 3 and 24 can also be 1 into 24 or 24 into 1. But since 1 is a factor, for all the numbers, we don't need to represent it here. So, here we are going to consider only the factors 6, 4, 12, 2, 8 and 3. Now, let's see how we can represent these factors in a factor tree. Now, consider the first case 24 is equal to 6 into 4. Now, let's see how we can draw a factor tree with these factors. So, first the given number 24, it is written inside a circle. So, this is the number given to us. Now, we are going to represent its factors. So, below this 24, below this circle, we are going to draw another two circles. So, one will be 6 and one will be 4 and we are going to use arrows. So, this 24 is equal to 6 into 4. Now, you see the fact is 6 and 4. These factors can again be factorized. So, first I am going to factorize the number 6. So, 6 is the product of 2 and 3. So, I am going to write the factors 2 and 3 here inside circles. So, an arrow from here and an arrow from here and I am going to put this into simple. So this means 6 is the product of 2 and 3 and 2 and 3 are the factors of 6. Now, what about the factor 4? 4 can again be factorized as 2 into 2. So, 1, 2 here and 1, 2 here. So, there is an into mark, there is an arrow mark. See, so the final factor 3 will look like this. The number given to us 24, it is the product of the factors 6 and 4 and 6 is the product of the factors 3 and 2 and 4 is the product of the factors 2 and 2. So, now we have factorized the given number 24 and we have represented all its factors in a factor tree. Now, consider the next case 24 is equal to 12 into 2. Can you try drawing the factor tree for this case? See, the factor tree for this case will look like this. 24, the factors 12 and 2 and 12 can again be factorized as 4 into 3. 4 can again be factorized as 2 into 2. And the factor 3 is brought down. And here 2, it cannot be factorized again. So, 2 is again brought down to the same level. Now, the next case 24 is equal to 8 into 3. The factor tree will look like this. 24 is equal to 8 into 3. 8 can again be factorized as 4 into 2. 4 is again factorized as 2 into 2 and this 2 is also brought down to the same level. And the factor 3 it cannot be factorized again. So, it is also brought down to the same level. Now, these are the factor trees for the three cases. Now, did you notice that whichever factors you are considering in each case, the final factorization, it remains the same. See, 3 into 2 into 2 into 2, 2 into 2 into 3 into 2, 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. So, it is 3 2s and 1 3. When you multiply 3 2s and 1 3, you get the number 24. So, the final factorization remains the same in all the cases. So, whichever factors you are considering, the final factorization remains unique. And you see, for the same number, different factor trees are possible. 
more than one factor 3 is possible for the same number but the final factorization remains the same. Here in the last row we can see all the factors are prime factors. You know what are prime factors? Factors which are prime numbers that is the numbers which have only one and the number itself as the factors. Those are prime factors. So you can see in the last row the number has got only prime factors. So you can say whichever the factors you are considering the prime factorization of a number remains the same. So keep in mind we can have more than one factor tree for the same number and here in this case the prime factors remain the same in each case. So I hope the concept of a factor tree is clear to you. You may go through the topic once again in page number 68 of your textbook. So once you have done that you can move to exercise 5.3 this is given in page number 70 and from exercise 5.3 you can complete the questions 1a to 1j this is to row the factor tree of the following numbers so go to the question row factor tree for each of the numbers given in the question then take a picture and submit in microsoft teams so that's all for today children we'll meet in the next class with a new topic till then bye